Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to Batman The Enemy Within, uh, Season 2 of Telltale's um, Batman series. So yeah, go back and check out my part 1 if you missed it. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the like button there. I'm trying to hit 50 likes on that part. That'd be awesome. But uh, we're trying to get, get Lucius' daughter out what of the building. Are you talking? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. Uh, Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. No. Lucius. We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman. No! Lucius. Lucius! No! Are you fucking serious? Not Lucius. Come on. We can't lose him. One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius no. Fox died He's actually dead. in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. I can't believe this shit. What? <sighs> you were always there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. He was a good man. This is some bullshit. To lose him like this, it's, it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations. And tore a family apart in the process. Don't worry, Al. I will find him. And bring him to justice. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm glad to see your sense of duty still reigns supreme. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. God damn it, this sucks. I wasn't expecting that at all. Hey, Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. <sighs> Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. That, uh... Sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. You're right about that. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain when my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I, I 
Bruce, so his remains, Bruce. <laughs> there, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hi, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. God damn, Tiffany, come on. I said I'd tell you. It's so sorry, really. No. It's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, right? <laughs> For that, we can all be grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no. Whoa, whoa. What the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing? <laughs> Shut up, Joker. I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. What the fuck? I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. You think this is funny? My friend is dead. Oh, I got it wrong, didn't I? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Gotta be quiet as church mice, right? It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. Many things to many different people. You're crazy if you think any of that matters now. His kindness. His Crazy's not a very nice word, Bruce. It's, it's derogatory, and 
Dr. Leland says that people use it as a weapon. <laughs> he really is a fucking crazy bastard. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I mean, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Gosh, John, I don't know. My schedule's just so packed these days. Please don't blow me off. Not after what we went through together. Maybe try my secretary. Ooh, disappointing. <laughs> You know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. Just makes me want, I don't know, lash out. Shh. 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 We're here to mourn. Please, you trust me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. Oh, easy, easy, John. Take a deep breath, okay? Calm down. You're right. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. This is Dr. bad. Leland says, we need to get him out of here calmly. Handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece of work calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to Let's Riddler work together with Joker out. then. He's a thief and a killer and worst of all, he's he's rude. That's the worst of all. <laughs> I tried to let the authorities know the kind of low life they're dealing with, but wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. If I ever get my hands on him, I will tear him apart. Oh, you don't know how glad that makes me, Bruce. You and me, we've got the same taste in people. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. Leave his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. Tell me where he is. I am not messing around, John. Oh, Bruce. I missed your fire. I really did. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know, and even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later. Like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. He's such an it's, idiot. Uh, it's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Um, me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Try the Intriguing tracking device. Fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. That could have been a bad idea. We'll see.
I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Goddamn, we're on his trail, boys. Let's go. Boom, boom. Friend in need. Enjoying the view. Uh, hard to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier. But when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, makes you wonder what's next. Uh, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spend some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Bruce Wayne picked himself up once. He could do it again. Yeah, he certainly showed us that much, didn't he? You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. <laughs> okay, we can have a look here. Looks like gang activity's heating up along 43rd. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Eh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased, anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. That makes sense. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. Hey, if this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. Oh, Me so. too. It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. It puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. She'll stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to get her man. That doesn't sit right with me. We all need to draw a line somewhere. It's what separates us from the scum we're trying to catch. I'm glad to hear you say that. The thing with Waller is her line's real blurry. Sometimes you can't see it at all. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Well, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. I don't want Waller involved. You and I can handle Riddler. Just like it's always been. Glad to see we're on the same page. Keep Waller out, the bitch. Watch out for her. She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll grab a car and meet you at Riddler's hideout. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come out. Awesome. Let's find this some bitch. It's time. Riddler, you're mine, baby. <laughs> Where are you, Riddler? We're here. No one's home. I kept Waller and her agency people out of the loop on this. Just the two of us. We can handle this without her. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Yeah, not very cozy. Gotta be honest. Definitely, uh... Definitely seen homier places. Have a Someone's look. keeping a scrapbook. Vain, isn't he? That is pretty vain, yeah. His own work. All criminals are like that, aren't they? See no evil, hear no evil. 
Speak no evil. Huh. Huh. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Let me get downstairs. Oh, shit. Damn it! It's... it's stuck! No way to open it from the inside. Should have fucking called out? Waller, actually, huh? Oh, God, he's giving us a goddamn go trail. In. After you. He's giving us a trail. There's gonna be traps galore down here, boys. Oh, goodness. This ain't good. Give me a good, honest crack house any day. <laughs> Uh-oh. Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. Well, we should have goddamn told Waller then, because now we have to tell her about her dead guy. One of his pupils is fully dilated, the other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Yeah, I think not huh. telling Waller was There's a bad no idea. Sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. Must have suffered a shock or a sudden jolt. That is not good, sir. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. Smart. One shoe is missing. The sole of the other one is almost completely melted through. He's missing parts of his fingers uh, on the right hand. That's grim. We saw this before. The that's victim in the grim. Casino. That's a hell of an invitation. Wanna Rivers leave? Get inside. Games. Oh god. Bet he tried to play along. We could learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Gosh damn it, that is fucked. One shoe melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. Yeah, no shit. Obviously we're gonna... No, we're not gonna link the missing fingers, are we? Uh, unfinished chamber? Just inspect everything first and then we can start Prototype linking. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy. Ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Oh, what's this? Metal mesh lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Yeah, he's quite clever. Missing a different facial feature. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. Ah, I see. There are blades inside. And a lot of blood. Huh. We know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. 
Huh. Gotta link them to the monkeys, probably, huh? Oh, monitors. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. And we get a polarized lens. That's an agency issue pistol. Packs a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. More monkey statues. I'm starting to sense a theme here. Take a look at this. Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency... Delph, I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now how is that for motivation? Screw you! <laughs> the agent bound while he beat him. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked up, actually. Okay, what else can we do? We gotta start linking I'm stuff now. One of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. That's gotta be... Whoa, voice crack of the century. Still That's warm. gotta be what happened to his feet. There must right? be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. The glass. It's polarized. So it is. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? Turn it anti-clockwise, I guess. It must be locked in place. Okay, gotta link the heating floor to the shoe. Obviously, I think that's an easy one. The floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. Genius. So that's how you see the message on the monitor, because it's polarized glass. If I see. If this door were closed, the portal would be looking right at those monitors. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. Is it, though? I mean, you would think that would be one of the things that you'd first think about is scrubbing your computer. I recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Read arms dealer email or read co-worker? Let's read the co-worker email. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. 
Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently, they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> right, stick to the plan and we'll have to make changes. Let's read the arms dealer. Mori, he sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mori for a while now. She must have known. Hmm, interesting. the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. It's pretty fucked up. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. Link the events in the correct order. So, chair. So that's first, right? Then death chamber. Because he it looks like he has fingers there, right? He has both his fingers there, so it has to be there. The agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors. Willingly put himself inside the murder box. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. And then, last one, obviously, his fingers, right? From where he lost his shoe, the agent beeline for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. Huh. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The it's last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Any mistake could be my last. I won't be able to do this without you, Joe. Well, when you put it like that, <laughs> let's win this game. Not good. Hate rising, Batman. The clockwise, right? Hurry now. Almost make out a message. They said, don't turn it one the right way. One in trouble and one tells no lies. Ask the third if he hides the prize. The monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Ah, damn it. The still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. <laughs> what the hell? Ah! That 
That's what killed him. Congratulations! You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! Which one is it? Nice. Good job, dude. <laughs> Hear no evil, see no evil. Alright, well, that's actually definitely hear no evil then, right? I think. Okay, yes, we got it. Good shit. We're out. Damn, Batman. Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for <laughs> the love of God, whatever's in that safe, it'll be worth all this pain. Um. A missile? It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up. I'm closing in on you, Riddler. We escaped your twisted puzzle. It's only a matter of time before I find you. Time is one thing you don't have. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. We'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes. They're no friends of mine. No, they're not. They'll smile to your face to get what they want. The agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The agency made me. Oh, God, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't let you off the hook. You're still responsible for all the pain you've caused. You think I'm asking for mercy? I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. You shouldn't have said his name, Riddler. I'll make you pay for what happened to Lucius. That must be the guilt talking. After all, the poor man's death is on you. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! You son of a bitch, Riddler. God I'll damn, wait for Waller and pass on what we found. 
She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. Okay, that's actually where we're going to end this part, guys. We'll be back for the third and probably what's going to be the final part very, very soon. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.